All right, guys, as you can see, there appears to be a guy with a trident right here who just hit me as I was returning from my adventures. So I'm going to try and like give him a quick shot here. Where is, where is he? How did he disappear? Oh, my God. Okay. All right. Well, welcome, guys, to another Minecraft episode. Today, we're going to take on perhaps the biggest project I've ever done in uh, Minecraft, which is uh, going to be an iron farm. So I've decided to do this now instead of later and it might have been easier because basically with iron, like with that supply of iron, especially because I'm going to put it in my spawn trunk so it's because it's always going to be active, or so it's always going to be active. Um, with that supply of iron, I can do loads. Uh, the cows are really loud, aren't they? It's supposed to be Okay. And I also, since I went exploring, I found the cats and a dog. Um, I also I found two cats, but the other one disappeared. So as in, I've been having this problem, where like I've tamed cats and dogs and just left me, which I don't know. That's quite sad. Okay, you know what? Let's. I also have loads of books. As you can see, I, I mean, can I like combine anything? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. So. What is like the basic principle of an iron farm? So basically what's what you're doing is you're having an iron golem who you can see I've explored loads to try and get the stuff needed for this episode. But you have um, villagers rather who um, basically spot a zombie which you've conveniently placed for them and they get scared and they uh, they basically spawn an iron golem and they spawn an iron golem exactly where you set up for them to spawn it in so you can have for example a uh, like um, an area with let me just make a quick crafting area you have for example an area where there's water and they spawn in the iron golem in the water whams then is the iron golems then drift down from the water platform into a uh, into a uh, another platform with water and lava and they die from the lava and that is collected and it was in the iron they drop it's collected and uh, keeps on going and now I mean, my explanation of this wasn't exactly the greatest but you'll soon see um, once I actually do it how it's done and it, it is quite cool I mean I saw this contraction before and I thought I might as well try and make something out of it so you'll need quite a few materials for this but the main thing you will need is villagers and so for that I have devised let me just uh, I've devised or I will devise rather a kind of like a uh, railway to what I thought was my nearest village but it turns out I have far closer villages so let me do that right now you've also gone mining for loads of iron because from what I remember I need loads of iron to make loads of rail carts. Uh, let me do this. Uh, this and sh do do do. Cool. That's still probably not enough. Uh, okay. Let's make four more. Okay. I think I still will need um, a bit more iron and uh, not iron yeah well definitely iron yeah actually it's because I do need um oh, do I need also more gold was in more golden rail carts Let's see if you make this uh, oh because I can just check for rail carts here not here there we go okay that should be good okay so I will see you oh yeah let me just explain it a little bit more. So essentially what I'm going to do, hello kitty, um, as I am going to go into the nether, I've made a pathway from, like in the nether, from this nether portal to another nether portal right by the village, and I'll soon transport the villagers from there to here. Then I'll make my iron farm over here, but this is scary. So as you can see, I have a pathway from here. Oh, I'm lagging as well. That is not fun. I don't know how much of this episode I'm going to cut just yet. 
this here, and look at this here, okay. So I don't know how much of this episode is going to be cut, but if there are any awkward cuts, that's because, basically, you would rather not watch this part. So that is it, basically. Now, do you know how, like, nerve-wracking making this is, like, it was actually a fair walk um, to get to where I need to be. You can hear the gas as well. They're, they are scary. I hate ghasts. I mean, let me just put powered rails down here just because um, it is uphill. That powers it all. Cool. Uh, let's switch this out. Actually, you know what? Let's put this here. So as you can see, I'm trying to make it the most efficient as possible. I mean, they even expanded even more blocks to make this kind of um, uh, safety rail for my bridge. Nope, here. I might need some more powered carts, rails. So, yeah, I suppose I'll see you when I get Come there. Come on, zombie pigmen. Oh, that is annoying. I, I can't build past them, can I? Oh, I can't look it right. It's time to push. Off you go. Chop, chop. I can't even hit him. Come on, man. Just get out of the way. This isn't your bridge. This is, like, something I spent time... No, get off the thing. What are you doing? What? Okay, well, I have to do the super, like, sneaky tactic of... Okay. Off you go. Bye. Goodbye. Alright, back to building a thing. So okay, see. so thankfully I had enough rails, um, more than enough, to uh, make my thing. Oh, let me um, make my transport system to get the villages. Now, what I do need is more rail carts. How am I going to do that? You know, I might just go back and mine some more. Because I thought, well, I might as well just transport as many as I can right from the beginning. So, for this, you will need villager-wise six villagers. You technically only need three. But, uh, to make it efficient, you, I mean, I'm having six. You will also need six beds and six crafting stations. Crafting stations could be really anything. And you will need stuff like slabs, trapdoors. I I'll, I'll mean, I'll make a list. Well, not a list, but like, I will show you how it's done to the best of my ability. Ooh. Get out the way! Okay, cool. Cool, alright. Let me go back in here. I think what I'll do is a bit some more mining just to get some more iron. Uh, I've found, like, a mine I haven't been to in a while. Or as in at all. So I will mine there. And I'll see you when I'm ready. Okay, so as you can see from my inventory on my hotbar, I got a pretty decent amount of iron. I mean, I mined a little bit more than I wanted or needed. I mean, I was just thinking 20 iron should be enough, but... Of course, uh, this might be the last time I mine for iron. Well, hopefully it's the last time I mine for iron. Not stuff like diamond. Although even diamond, I am nearly... I nearly have enough diamond for a full set of iron armor. A diamond armor, so I have a pickaxe, the axe, and I have a shovel. I also have 17 diamond. So, like, all in all... Doing well, doing well. Um, let me actually get that blast furnace. Here we go. I saw this from a village I saw earlier. Um, I hope they're okay with it. Um, but whatever, it's a village. <laughs> okay, right, let's get this. Oh, is it only for food? Well, I'm sure I have some more food. I don't want to smoke the fish. Actually, you know, I might as well smoke the fish. Get that summon. Cool. Oh, it's faster as well. That is good. That is good. Um, so, yeah. What I'm going to do now, then, look at how much chicken I have as well. Like, I am actually, food-wise, I'm doing well. I also got a nice enchanted book, um, Fire Aspect 2. I already have Fire Aspect 1 on this sword, which is really good. Can I get the Fire Aspect? Ah, not yet. Look at this. Knockback 1, Sharpness 3, Looting 1, Sweeping Edge 1, Fire Aspect. It'll be in Fire Aspect 2. Had a bit more, have I had a bit more experience, which I might get through the smelting. Okay, let's just collect all these books. Okay, they are collected all together. I've got loads of books, as you can see, from... i got this from uh, uh, Skeleton. I've got those books from the Woodland Mansion, which, um, over the last episode, between episodes, I cleared out a little bit. Not too much, because I died quite a few times. Okay, let's put this away. Let's put this in here. And let's get some of this. I don't want to wait too long, so I'm going to smelt stuff in here. 
Let's sleep as well because I think it's night. Yes, it's night time. Hello, kitty. Oh, am I on caps? I think I am on caps. Well, I wasn't caps. So yeah, hopefully I can get like a cat's not farm because there aren't farm animals cats. Uh, but I hope I can get some kind of cat's um, uh, uh, breeding program so I can get loads of cats. Now you see, I actually already had three mine carts in my inventory, so I'm going to get uh, make four more. So that's three more for villagers and one for me, if you please. Okay, I need three more. Got the fish though. Let me put this in here. Cool. I have enough for one more, which is all I need for now. Cool. And let me... Ah, that should be good. Alright, so. I also will need a boat. Now, a boat, even though the village is a desert village, I need a boat for basically transporting them to the train track or into the nether I think that's the best option let me do that then now like I said it might actually be tricky getting them onto the train and then getting them through the track and then etc etc but hopefully it should be fine that's what I mean though by it being a pretty big project the actual building of the iron farm is like it's decent it will be hard because I did try to get scaffolding but unfortunately even though I looked around for a jungle for the bamboo for like around about two hours couldn't find anything so it will have to be done the traditional way but the actual building of the farm is somewhat tedious but it's okay but like just getting the villages is going to be difficult but this is probably the easiest way of getting villages when there are no villages close to you Okay, so this is first your first look at the village. Obviously, I explored it a fair bit. Now, it's good to know that zombie pigmen don't attack villages. Otherwise, Iron Golem will be on them. I remember we spent a night together, myself and Iron Golem, just clearing out all the monsters. Okay, good. So we have some farmers. Hey there. Right. Okay, let's push him off this block. Get off the block. Into the boat. Come on, come on, come on, get off, get off, get off, get off, man, I don't want to take a child, because I don't think it will work with a child, even though they will grow up soon, okay, you know what, a barrel, I think, this is a barrel, isn't it, a composter, that, is that, that might be a uh, valid workstation, get on the, oh, Okay, let's push you onto the boat then. Get on the boat. I don't want the iron going to be on my case, so there's no hitting into the boat. Get on the boat. You okay. No, kitty. Uh oh, that's my cat as well. Mm. I hate you, Virgia. You are definitely going to be... Where's my boat? This is not going to plan. Okay. So you can see how... Uh, okay, cool, I have my boat back. Get on the boat, please. Just get on the boat. Aha, here we go. Here, yeah, I've got onto the boat. That is a mistake. I'm now going to row, row, row my boat. Nope, I can't row it there. The thing is, drawing a boat, you can't actually row it. Oh, man, are you serious? Okay, let's F3H just to get to the hitboxes. There we go. Nope, wrong one, it's FUB, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's it. Where's the Arno Gunnam? Oh dear. This is a mistake. Right, I need to quickly... Get, I, I do not fancy fighting an Iron Gunnam. Obviously, I'll win. Why am I having the boat glitch again? This is a stupid game. Fix your stuff. Okay, cool. Alright, let's, let's try again. Hmm. Where's my boots? Alright. I'll see you when I actually get some villages. Row, row, row your boat jumping down the stream. Come on. Alright, hopefully once I'm actually in the nether I can hit the villages as much as I want. 
if you get them into the my uh, rail carts. Okay, cool. Let's get them. You fool. Okay, you saw nothing. I didn't get them. Okay, but I do, do think I now have to get in. Ha ha! Fool. And you, you as well. Come here. Ha ha. Trapped you. And now I need to clear a path for myself. Uh, I do have a shovel. Cool. Good, good, good. Right. So that is one villager in the nether. One out of six. I have two hopefully coming in soon. Nope. Kitty. Oh wait, this isn't my actual cat. This is the cat that I thought I lost. That's that's nice actually. You know what? I appreciate you, Kitty. There we go. Hey! Get in the boats. No. Alright. Get out of the way. Cool. Alright. Get in the boats. Oh my god, why did they disappear? What is this game? Why isn't there any easy way to transport villagers? I don't think I can use a leash. I hope I. Okay. It would be kind of embarrassing if I could use a leash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Okay, well, I mean, there was no point in getting the boats. Okay, get, get... No, 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 no. Why are you going away? Get in the... Get in the nether portal. Come on. Get on the thing. Okay. To make it easy, I'm actually going to put blocks around the nether portal. So once they're on here, on this level, I can easily push them. Right, let's try this again. Right. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Right, I'm going to go back home and try to get a leash. No, go on the thing. Okay, well, you... Haha. <laughs> You're a fool. Okay. Say goodbye to your friends. Ah. Oh. Oh. Okay, good, good. Alright, let's get those two uh, away first. Okay. Well, that's one villager. Where's the second one? There's a second one. Right, someone of you get on the thing. Right, this time I can hit you because... Oh my god, did you see... Alright, let's get you going first, I suppose. Get on. There we go. Bye. Okay. Right. Where's that village you gone? Sorry, Kitty, for having to see this. Okay. No, you're going this way. 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 This way. This way. Yep. Good job. Yep. Nope. This way. Okay. Let's make like kind of a thing where at least if he goes on it, then I've got, I've got him. Nope. Nope. This way. You're going this way. Okay. Let's get another one. This is far more difficult than I thought. Like I knew it would be difficult, but not this difficult. Aha. He's on the right level. Interception. There we go. Cool. Alright. Let's turn around. Row, row, row your boat. Slowly. Take your time then. Hi, how's it D? Yeah. Okay, right, let's uh we're nearly there. I'm gonna go back with him because I honestly don't know whether you can use leashes on villagers. I've got one anyway. Come on. There we go. <sighs> this is far more difficult than it has to be. Where is the villager? I hear him. Yeah. No. I don't want to hit them if I can get to it. Okay, well, fine, I'll think I have to. Nope, nope. Run aimlessly towards the minecart. Okay, I'll guard the... How have you got yourself in here? Come on, just go there. Go there. Come on. Yeah. There. Nope. Yeah. There we go. And now push. Push. Bye, and I'll join you actually. And now somehow I need to get them from. Ah, uh, man, one second. All right. Um. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, can I still see the guy? Oh, where'd he go? Oh dear. Oh, there he is. Ha. Good, good, good. Let's just eat some bread. Ouch. Nope, we're going this way. Nope, we're, nope. Okay. 
this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Come on, man. Okay. Cool. Okay. Go. Go. Cool. All right. So we have now two of the six needed. Um, I'll trap them in. Oh, what? How have I already lost the villager? Okay, one second. This also won't work because of the zombies. So I will have to probably... Okay, one second. They might actually spawn in. Actually, they won't spawn in. I'm going by themselves. Let me get my lead. Will this work? If it does, it will be so much easier to do. Uh... Where's that rogue villager gone? He, he probably left. Oh my God. Okay. Fine, well I suppose it is one out of... No, you, you can't. Okay. Come on, just come on. Okay. What I will do then, is I will put some torches around. Uh, actually, I'm going to sleep as well, because doing this at night time in that village will not be easy. Cool, let's sleep. Okay, I went down to one of six of my required villages. you know what I will do is I will actually now build my the farm just to show you what needs to be done so like I said the principle of it is quite basic villagers um, basically once they see a zombie they will react they will then uh, spawn in an iron golem so the principle behind it is you want the iron golem to spawn in only in one area which is okay where's my wall uh, no, no, I need more. You want the arm going to spawn in only one area, which is your uh, an area where you have set up water. And then from that water, you can then uh, uh, from that. One second, let me let me sort out some stuff. Sorry. Um, in that area, you can put water down, and then you can uh, then have the arm going sweep down to another um, another spot where. They are basically collected. What's this? Okay, a jungle slab uh, or slabs of some kind. That's a slab, isn't it? Cool. So I can make two of those. One, two, and another one. Two. What's this? A banner pattern. Okay. Hmm. Uh, a loom. I need string for that. So yeah, as you can see, um, right now I am crafting. Nope. Right now I'm crafting six workstations because in order for it to actually work the villagers need to be doing stuff so that includes having workstations having um, beds as well so they can sleep because otherwise I'm not too sure exactly what happens but it won't work okay that's all you need to know so I'm gonna make two looms as well I don't know how it works with whether villagers can be the same professions in the same area let me make that two looms so I have one two three four five I need one more Cartography table, not all paper, that's fine, I have paper. Close maps, and I'm not going to use maps for that. So I need to make a proper map thing. Cartography, no, car no, cartography table. Okay. Now I need to find an area where I want to build a farm. Where do I have my water bucket? Okay, cool. Now, what I was thinking is directly over there on the water. We'll probably be over here, over the water. Oh, there's the villager. Get back here. Uh, for your... Actually, you know what? You can stay here. I was going to kill him, but then I thought... Nah. Alright, let's see. So, like I said, I did want to use grab, uh, scaffolding. It made it so much easier. But, unfortunately, uh, I honestly search loads for a uh, jungle. Because you need bamboo to make scaffolding. There goes my thing. But, yeah. Okay. So, this needs to be, I think, at least 20 blocks up. So, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And for good old sake, let's do it to 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, let's do 11 then. And then what you need to do, you need to go six, uh, 7 blocks to either side. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Actually, you know what, while I'm here, let me put, drop down the water so I can get here easily. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
6 and 7. Uh, what you want now is look here, 1, 2, and you want this to be in like a Y shape. 1, 2, and 1, 2. You then want all your block, uh, all your beds to be facing the same way. So you place down your three beds. Where's my other? Okay, we'll sort that out afterwards, of course. Three beds, cool. And then three workstations. So because I don't know how it works with where the uh, villagers can have the same professions, I'm going to do this, this, and this. Okay. So want this here, this here, and then you want this and I think you have another block here as well let me check one so second. as I came in I saw yet another one of my villagers has escaped so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to give him a very nice hole to rest in whilst I, I sort out the farm so let me do that quickly because I honestly don't have much time left and it's also vital today that I sleep as soon as night no where did he go? Okay. Alright. Well, there he is. Okay. Let's just punch him towards the thing. Through here. No. Through here. No. Mm. Alright. Fall down there then. Punch. Nope. Let's stay away. Oh, come on, man. Just. In the thing. Get in the thing. Get in the thing. Okay, you know what? He he won. He won. <sighs> or did you? Okay. That's what you get for messing around with me, even though it is my fault. So what I will do is I will set a hole here for my villagers to go in. This is so there's no messing around at all. Um, if they want to escape, they will escape when I say they can. Okay. Right. Now, I need a few more items for the villager area I need one slab I also need carpets we don't only have one oh, okay luckily I have loads of uh, sheep and loads of string as well just in case I will also need two carpets and slabs and a trap door or two let's just get the thing. snip 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 how many 11 that is perfect that is more than I need Cool. Right, so I have enough beds there. I will need. I will need how many more beds? Okay, one and two more beds, which I'll make. And I will also need a couple of slabs. That's slabs. Uh, let's get that bed. That's one bed. And hi, kitty. And oh, oh. There we go. Oh. And two beds. That's for the other side. Slabs. I have. I need couple of trap doors there we go and another couple of trap doors I'll think of it and carpets oh yeah carpets are two aren't they and let's make uh, this for good time so okay cool and it's night time so I sleep okay All right so you can see what I mean by this is kind of a large project because this is literally this part here is the easiest part obviously the hardest part is getting the villagers to actually stay you know but we will do that of course um, because otherwise it would be a big shame if I can't do that and then the whole thing just goes okay cool so what I will need is cobblestone one block here oh that's not cobblestone one block here and one block here and this is where I'll put my last crafting station. I'll put this here. I'll then put a slab here, a trap door here. Okay. One second. The slab slab should okay. This should be would be easier if I had. Let me actually make a soon pickaxe. Uh, not pickaxe axe. Two. Okay, nope, that is a weird pickaxe axe thing. That is not in the game. Okay, right. This, break. This. Cool. Right, the slab should be slightly higher than how I just put it. So if I put it here. Nope. I made another boo-boo. Okay. One, two. If I put it 
here. I think this is this height. Then I'll put the strap door here. Do that. One, two, three. Is that the no, that is too high actually. Because essentially what you want is the villagers to be bouncing up in the water that will Okay. Let's try that again. So this is why I built over water, just in case. And also in the second phase, um, as in setting up the farm below, it might also be easier because I already have water there. Okay. So essentially what you want the villagers to be doing is I'll be putting down some water here, which I'll do right now. And I'll also be putting down a trapdoor. And so they'll be bobbing up and down. And so they'll constantly be making eye contact with the zombie. And they'll be scared and then they'll spawn in an iron golem, which will be round here and then a fall down, etc. We will come onto that later. So currently which is what well, is very annoying, I'm literally one step away. Nope, not here, just here. Okay, let me check how it's been done in other YouTubers. I think this was this is correct. Oh. I will link this guy's video by the way as well. He inspired me to do this. Because I mean I could do with iron. I'm always low on iron, okay. How hmm. okay. Alright, there's also a slab up here. I think I did do it right the first time with the gravel. I don't know whether it's too high or not. So it should be not this height, but this height. I oh, see, yeah, when they are bobbing up and down, they will be able to see. Anyway, I can't get through. So essentially what that means is, as they are bobbing up and down, the villagers will be constantly making eye contact with the zombies uh, over here, which I'll place over there. And they will be scared and I'll put in an iron golem, as I've said earlier. Now this should be, this should be this side done. So what I'll then need to do is get rid of all the blocks, which is easier said than done, I now realise. Hmm. Should I do a parkour trick? Nah, let's play it safe. All the blocks apart from the one upon which the water is below. So they can only stand in the water essentially. Nope, that's the one upon which the water is below. Take that away, take that away, and take that way. That's essentially so the villagers once they finish sleeping can only um, like go in one area as in the water and they will always be looking at the zombie. And also that means once they spawn an iron golem they don't just spawn it anywhere, they spawn it directly where I want it to be. So that is one side done which is good. Whew. Right, second side. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. Right, then I will do my wives. One, two, one, two, one, one, two, and one. Okay. Let's clear up inventory a little bit. Let's get the beds down first. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Good. Uh, the water's down there, so I won't focus too much on the water right now. Then we'll get the crafting stuff. That's for their professions. Put this here. I will actually I will break the block that is below it. If I can. If I can. Cool. That is done. But I will break all the other blocks as well now I'm here. Let's break this. And break this. Oh, oh. And break this. And break this. Okay. And now I will need the, this here. Ah, oh, I forgot the carpets on the other side. Oops. Okay, let's do that quickly. So as you can see, this is my first time doing it. I did a little bit in creative mode, but then I made um, an error on something. But I got the main principles right. Um, so doing in survival mode. Obviously the biggest trick like I said is getting the villagers to actually get in the area there. The zombie is not too bad because it's just one zombie. You can easily control it as well um, just by leading to, uh, away from you or to you. Okay let's get this. Slab seems I've lost. That's not a slab. I do have a crafting table. Thank God. Oh I only want one crafting table. 
Okay. Slabs. So I'll need one here. I will then need one here with a trapdoor. I need water as well, so I will get that. Let me just fall down. Yeah, I can fall down from here. What else is there? And carpet. I think that's it. Um, apart from obviously getting rid of those blocks, that is it for this side. Then what I work on is the zombie area and then what is above the zombie area. So zombie should be sitting in a cauldron, all happy. I'll block up the thing on top of him after I put the zombie in. So then this can work in sunlight because he won't be, um, he still be able, wait one second, I just went down for no reason. Okay. Also block up what's on top of him so then in sunlight it works. I'll give him an item to hold so he doesn't really spawn. And then I'll put the platforms above him. Or platform above him so then he um so the uh, the villagers are scared and they spawn in an iron golem which will fall to its death and let me put a trap door over here a trap door helps them bobbing up and down basically it makes it uh, more efficient they spawn in iron golems more frequently too good that's that okay so i believe that is the second and the last villager containment unit done cool all right now now this is the tricky part because I need to basically get this right to where I'm dropping the zombie off. So for that I will need the cauldron, which I will do right now. So you can tell this, this episode is getting quite long. And the long, longest part isn't even over yet, which is actually transporting the villagers, which I might just do off camera to be honest. Because um, as you can see, it's a lot of effort. Where's my iron? Are you serious? Okay, phew. Oh yeah, okay, cool, good. Wait, we should be good in the iron. Cauldron is like this, isn't it? Yes, good. Um, the cauldron doesn't need any water on it, as long as there's a block on top, then that should be fine. Let me get loads more cobblestone as well, because I will need loads more to build the um, platform above. What is annoying is how I still have zero villagers out of the necessary. Six. Well, we'll do that, of course, and in order to do that, I'll also need a railway going all the way up to there. And then I can drop them off safely on uh, in their home. That should be, I mean, that would probably be the most difficult part. The zombie is, like I said, is okay. I can literally lead him right onto a minecart. What I might do is have, I don't know what I'll do, to be honest. Um... um How's this going to work then? Uh, this is slow. Okay, cool. One up here. If you're wondering why I'm building with gravel, this part is very easy to just get rid of. Okay, you know what? Let me let me make an additional bucket so I can pick up that water without wasting the water in here. Let me put this here. Right, I think this is the right level for the villagers to spot. So the zombie head will be here okay slightly lower because he'll be in the cauldron and that should be enough as the villagers are bobbing up and down to be able to spot him if he isn't that's annoying but at the same time it's like we will still be able to move this this this, this platform here will be easier to move than the actual uh, villager area so what we'll need now is a 5 by 5 wrong block a 5 by 5 platform upon which the iron golems should be spawning in. So let me do that. That is one, two, one and two. Let me pick up this water. I'll get down there um, later. As in, I'll make another system up there later. Also, it looks quite nice from here. One, two. Now, I sincerely hope this is within the spawn chunks. So I don't need to be around about here to keep them loaded. One, two, one, two, and one, and two, and one, and two, and one, two, two. Right, what I might do up here is make an infinite water supply just for now. I don't need that many cobblestone blocks to make it, but whatever. Infinite water supply for now, just so I can fill up this with water. So one, two, Right, it's night time, but because I have no villages now, zombies, if they spawn in, it'll be like, whatever. 
So let's put the water down here so I'm safe. One, two. Okay, now. I should have made fences before, but I'll make some now. So what you also need is fences. How do you make fences again? Oh, you need sticks. Okay. There need to be more. There'll need to be 10 fences and 10 fence gates. You'll soon see why. <sighs> I don't have enough wood. That is awkward. Never mind, I'll simply get some more. Anyway, what is nice is that the actual villager building, a villager housing area, and the... Hi Kitty. And the... Villager housing area and the platform are taking less time than I uh, first thought to make. Which is very good news. Right, let's just take off this wood. I hear loads of nasty stuff going on. Um, monsters wise. Which is awkward. Right, that's the time as well. Oh boys, it is getting late. Okay. Cool. Let's go back up there then. So yeah. As you can imagine, um, what I might actually do... I don't know whether should I make it a two-part episode again. I don't know. I feel like getting the villagers actually in there would be something I can do off camera. This is something that, you know, is educational. You can learn from it. Alright, let's get some wood. I don't want to even fill up my inventory with wood. Uh, it's funny. Let's just make... Let's try just... Okay, split this in half and make as many sticks as I can. Good. Let's make some more wood. Good. One, two, three, four, that's twelve uh, gates. Should be enough because it's five on either side. And then I will need fences, which I believe are made like this. Ah, I need more of those. Need how many more? That will be two more. Four more. Sorry, maths isn't. Uh, it should be my strong suit, but. Not today, it's not. Uh, that's eight. So that is not enough. I need sixteen. <sighs> One, two, cool. Then I do this, this, four. Good. Finally got there. And then what you do is you place the fences one out. So from here. Two, three, one, two, then break this. Same thing on the other side. Bang. One, two, three, one, two. Okay. So that is good so far. And then we work on the fence gate. So that will be, let's just put lock here. Now uh, the fence gates need to be facing this way so they can open and allow the golems through. Two, three, four, five. Good. And other side. Down here. One, two, Ooh, wrong way. Wait, no. That is annoying. Okay. So after that, hopefully the top area is complete, and I can now um, uh, work on the bottom area. So for that, of course, I will need lava. So if you're offended by lava, now's the time to take away. I don't know why you would be offended by lava, but just in case, you never know these days. Uh, and for one, two, three, nope, one, two, three, and I no longer need that. Actually, no, I do need to still need that water, but I soon won't. Okay, now what I will do is I will work on the water area here. So, essentially what you want is a line, uh, two lines of water sources, adjacent water sources. So this is one line, and then from here, here, you know that, 
is that water source yeah okay it is and that means I should be able to take okay let's not worry about that too much now and one two one two okay and so you see the fence gates basically prevent the water from flowing down so what happens is the iron golems flow down naturally um, and they go through the fence gates and down into the collector which will also require more water but we'll work on that next let me just break these blocks now I will leave this water here obviously you won't actually leave it um, later but I'll leave that for now just so um, we have some way of going back up and that means what I will do is I will uh, probably break Actually, I do need to break a few things now. Think about it. So, I need to break this here, this here. I made a bit, bit of a boo boo now. Think about it because the zombies still need to go through. Okay, that's fine. I will fix it right now. One, two, three, four, and five. So, the zombie should fall blomp, right into the cauldron, take a bit of damage, it seems. And that's it and then I'll fix up obviously the water stuff later but apart from that we should be fine so I'm going to get rid of the gravel do I have a torch on me yeah, I have plenty right how this is, is this going to work well, obviously okay cool I have that in here uh, okay no that won't work it'll have to be underwater it seems you know what, I'll just keep the gravel for now. What we now need to do is obviously our collection area. So what I thought I'd do is I would um, get a few... Why is there... Okay. Because I, I already have water here. I would make a nice platform-ish area. And then both sides. And then I'll get some... You'll soon see what will happen. So first of all, I want to check where the edges of the thing are. So it's around here. I also need to see how long actually each water source lasts. So, as in, what is the length of the thing? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So, I want it basically to be from the center. So, let's just say center three, one, two. Here. I want it then to be eight blocks away. So, two, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is where our water source would be. Of course, it needs to be one lower. If you don't get exactly what I'm doing, it'll soon it'll soon become apparent. Uh, don't you worry. Ah, pa, okay. And one, two, and three. Okay. One, two, three. This is five wide, so I'll need to have it six or seven wide, just in case. No, no, one second. 8 wide or 9 wide why did I break that? 2 and then I'll need to 1 2 ok then I need to do all the way to the other end so again that's our 1 safety 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then 9 for here now, of course, I'll need to dig up this area and make that water as well. Okay. Two, three, four. Then, one second, that's not four. I started off two, not one. And here. Okay. Uh, I'll rejoin you when I've had the uh, Because stuff I can't really bother to fill out the whole thing, I'm going to cheat a little bit with lava. I'm going to do this quite carefully with this lava. This should spread out over the water and make stone. I think it's smooth stones for now because those are they're all uh, actual water sources. Okay, this is taking a while, so I'm going to start from the other side. You see this this is thinking outside of the box, okay. Okay, this is there. Okay. So you can see I'm making like a platform and edge for the iron golems so they only flow in this direction which is towards the their deaths basically. Um Okay, it's time to get rid of the lava. I'm going to add it somewhere else. So I put it here. Come on, okay. Cool. It flows really slowly, doesn't it? 
Okay, that's enough. Obviously, this middle part I will fix out, uh, fix later once I um, get rid of the water source at the top. But I still would probably need to access this. Knowing me, I've made a mistake or another, and I, yeah, I made another mistake by not having enough cobblestone. So I suppose I'll get more cobblestone. Hey. Let me do that then. Uh, I'll see you when this is about complete. Okay, so this bottom platform is nearly complete, and basically, of course, there's this water source here. And there's another one I think as well up there and that kind of disrupts it a little bit so what I'm going to do now is going to leave you for a little bit whilst I actually get the villagers into their areas which will be very tough and also get the zombie into his spot and yeah see you soon okay so it's been a few days later and as you can tell I am currently very frustrated at this farm it uh, took a lot of time and effort many many hours to make and it's still not working and to be honest with you I don't know why uh, but, you know, I still make a video out of it and hopefully soon it will start to work. I just don't know why exactly it's not working. Nope. There you go. Did it land in the cold? Yes, it did. So, um, I did everything basically as per the two tutorials. I've watched the two videos relating to this. So, I got my zombie, etc. Um, the zombie currently isn't in the cauldron cauldron, so have a little tactic here where I put a piston and a trap door. Oh, just one. Oh dear, that didn't work. Okay. Next time I should watch myself, but uh so what I would do is trap door open lever here and uh, push that in. Of course the zombies now dead, so we need to wait until night time which isn't too far away. So meanwhile I'll just tell you how frustrating this has been. The villages seem to be all fine um, on both sides. This is, as I've checked multiple times, the, the cauldron is on the correct level. There are these blocks here, but I've taken these away before, and technically those blocks here should still be able to like, have iron golems spawning on them. So there's just a higher chance they'll spawn, spawn on these blocks if the water blocks up there. Um, and I have actually had iron golems before. On, uh, on here, I've had two spawn in, one up there and one on here, so I know it does work, but the one spawned here went up to the zombie and hit it. Now things, I honestly don't know at what level the zombie was. So what I might do quickly on camera is, or on video, I don't know, is uh, try to just make it just one platform for the zombie so he can wander around and uh, Basically, maybe that will have the villagers see him. Cause I don't know whether he's on the right level. Also, there's this lava collection thing, which I'm pretty sure is not exactly the best. Okay, I hear a zombie. Oh, there's a zombie sound there. See, as you can tell, a lot of resources went into this. A lot of deaths. You can also see that my cat also died, unfortunately. Because I think I, like, made it stand up and then it fell into the water there, into the lava. But yeah, multiple days has went went into this, like loads of time, loads of hours, things that I can't really afford to do, I'm a busy man. But hey ho, it's all for the video. See here you can see I made like a small terminal so I can then easily put the zombies right up, the villagers as well. And the villagers were really frustrating dude, that was probably what I spent most of the time on, apart from just now, getting this all to work properly. I'm lagging as well. Okay, so I'll see you when I have something going. So I found a zombie who is willingly chasing me, which is good. So what I'm going to do now is what I've done for, I don't know, 20 zombies or more. Is, and many more villages, I can tell you. Is lead them, uh, lead him onto here. And then he'll follow me in and then I'll punch him into the rail cart and off he goes. Okay. Now the shield has been really helpful in this because I can do this, dodge his first attack. Oh. And in he goes. Now, obviously, that's uh, not the correct way, as in he needs to be going that way. But luckily, block this off so the other zombies can't get me. But luckily, well, oh, he can get me. Oh, and he helped me as well. Oh, thanks, man. Okay. I obviously put that block one too high. But off the zombie goes um, on the minecart, and I'll block this off properly this time. 
yeah I want too high box, box up properly I have another minecart for myself up I go now this tactic works for both villagers and zombies villagers are kind of harder to get because um, they don't naturally follow you but what you can do is get them onto a boat by like anticipating where they're going then putting a boat on them but the boat can't travel up blocks can only travel down okay so what we've done is we have uh, one second which no oh, that's not good whoops I messed that up slightly this is from my previous zombie attempt oh, oh I messed up hugely oh that is embarrassing now is a zombie nah, okay it seems that we actually need to go up there again so let me get my stuff this isn't good um, but it's fine I'll sort it out myself I am the best after all luckily like I said this um, uh, junction here is safe from other mobs apart from you know, safe from every mob I think some mobs can climb onto here etc but I don't think they're smart enough to do that so da, da, da. okay minecart up and bye <clears throat> so yeah as you can tell uh, the series so far or this episode has been fought with this kind of mess you know me messing up and also just it's bad luck as well in general so what I'm going to do I'm going to push this zombie cool okay now should be safe here I don't know why I'm moving around I think it's just a weird glitch right okay I'm going to break this minecart yep cool now let me just check there is actually a hole for the zombie to go down to oh he did that himself okay cool usually you usually have to give them a bit of encouragement with like a punch or something but not today you also notice the zombie is holding on to like a flower or something Okay. This has happened far too often. Okay, let's try that again. Wait, does it does it have a minecart? No, okay, that's a trouble. Let's try this again. Are there any zombies close to the yeah there was one? Okay, cool, because I don't want to go through all the zombies and creepers because they'll just keep running after me. So let's just dig up or put blocks up. Can't go through the gate. So as you can tell, it's taken a huge amount of resources. I basically have no iron. That's why I have no, no I don't have full iron armor. Um, from, that's because of a number of reasons. Rails and also just dying often, having to make minecarts, cold and etc oh etc etc but yeah this is tiring I mean it's only been well a jump cut for everyone watching but for me it has been a number of days oh that's not good height 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 oh boy okay oh okay oh let me just get rid of get out of here quickly so Currently, the only useful zombie to me. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Alright, cool. I'm, I'm kind of safe now. That is a lot of. Okay. You know, I am now going to bed. This is basically in the story of this episode. Probably the hardest thing I've done on YouTube. Apart from maybe some kill compilations. And they, I can't sleep. Hmm. What should I do? Ah, dog. Let's go. There you go. Doggy. Okay. Okay. 
dog's being hit. Okay, this wasn't as smart as an idea as I thought it would be. Okay. Doggy, no. Okay, I've lost a dog. I think I'm gonna lose a dog. Ah, no. As long as I keep hitting them, they will ignore, they'll forget about the dog. But this is a home invasion and a half. I don't have time to eat either. Oosh. Oh, ah, uh, not the, okay, the baby zombie's gonna be the end of me. Come on, come on, doggy. Ah! E. Okay, let's put the blocks down. Okay, and now they're breaking the door. That's fine. I'll... Right, where's my sword? Armor. Right. Nope, don't break my door, please. Hey. Okay, this is far more... <laughs> okay, <laughs> this wasn't going to be what this episode is. It's like... Come on, doggy, come on, man. Oh, it is low on health. Okay, cool. Oh. Okay, that's good, because now I can just... Uh... Right, doggy, you can sit down. Are you? Okay, that's good. <sighs> okay. Oh, you know what? That is useful, because that zombie, I can have do something. I don't think there's anything else. Okay, there's. Let's just wait until daytime. And then that zombie with the armor it has the helmet, so it won't die in the daytime. Everything else should. And then we'll just simply put it on the mine cart, so off you go. Let's try and give it something so it can actually hold so it doesn't despawn. Lots of meat. You don't usually hold stuff that you drop them, you actually need to like, properly break them. So if I break this carpet, it might open. Oh, okay. But the carpet doesn't block them, surely not. Okay. Yep, this is how my episode's been. I can't believe it. How much. How long have I spent doing this farm? <sighs> okay. See you when there's an advancement. Okay, new plan. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have the platform, instead of just being a cauldron, or where the zombies, instead of just being a cauldron, it'll, it'll be basically some tracks. Is this too loud? Basically some tracks going around in a circle. Because I don't know whether the cauldron is too high, too low, too far, etc. It's all confusing. So I'll just um, do some uh, uh, improvisation, that's the word. Hopefully we'll get somewhere. Okay, so this is... Um, this is the platform with the cauldron. Like I said, the cauldron... I'm pretty sure it's the correct height. It's kind of tough to get the um, zombie in. But I didn't really have too much trouble after I figured out the trap door and the uh, piston trick. So all we're going to do is we are simply going to... Don't worry, I have another pickaxe. We're simply going to get rid of this cauldron. The zombie will fall onto this block. And then we will have this. We have normal tracks, I do. No, if you have this here and this, okay. Oh, I need more normal tracks, I just realised. That is silly of me, and I'm lagging as well. Okay, see you when um, I've figured out something. Okay, so I just finished it and it's now working finally, after around like three or four days. So as you can see, I kind of went away from the original design and I have a zombie on a minecart and this is I think slightly less inefficient um, but it still does work I still do get the, the do get the occasional iron golems which is nice to have obviously and let's see if I just check the chest so I have five iron now 
we'll see after a while I'll just um, break this stuff and I'll talk about it a little bit how much we have but like I said it's not exactly the most and it's kind of sporadic but it's nice to have like 5 iron is 5 more than I had before you know so it still is nice to have um, a you know for now reliable uh, iron income let me just talk about a few of the, th uh, the stuff I did also whilst I was um, doing this so I did let me sleep as well quickly So, of course, I lost loads of stuff. I lost my amazing diamond pickaxe. It wasn't actually that good. It was like efficiency three. I'm breaking three. But let me turn down this volume. It is really loud. So I made. Oh look, there's one. I made a few improvements to the farm. So chickens, because I get quite, like got annoyed with doing collecting the eggs and throwing them, etc. Or just putting them in a chest. So now I set up a dispenser system. Quite simply. Put the eggs in the dispenser and they do automatically for me. Nope, don't escape. Okay, so that's quite simple. Obviously, because I have hundreds of chickens, I collect loads of eggs very quickly. So, um, I might add another dispenser or four. I don't know. We'll see. I also expanded my uh this is the redstone by the way i also expanded my cow farm for some reason the, i don't know how the chickens are getting there but either way i expanded, uh, expanded the cow farm this stuff i'm going to do after i get loads of iron because as you can imagine iron is um, kind of limitation since i used loads for this uh sheep i don't really need anyway so i left them as it is now what i'm going to do is i'm going to get rid of that whole track system because basically I don't really need it so first of all I'm going to what am I doing what do I need to do oh yes so I also want to get a chest as well just so I can have a double chest so then the iron doesn't if I get more which I don't know how much I am actually going to get iron wise I don't know how fast I get the iron because it is definitely slower than the ones I've seen online but it works which is better than the one I just made um, but yes, yeah, so I need a chest. I'm also going to put these eggs in dispensers and then we're going to break the thing. So let me put the eggs in. The eggs in, cool. And let me. Let me just uh, get a shovel as well because it's the dirt. So yeah, as I've said, huge amount of effort and work. You can probably tell by my voice went into this too much, I think. Uh, I lost too much as well. I have loads of iron now, or I say loads. It's loads compared to, I already had sticks. Loads compared to how much I had before, which is amazing. And also, like I said, it's an automated supply, so when I'm out exploring, I am just generating iron. It's a traveling uh, trader. Hello. Uh, this is literally apart from this, like everything I already have, so that's kind of useless minecart so yeah I spent like hours and hours trying to get the normal cauldron thing working but what I noticed was I wasn't too sure but it appeared that the villagers were slightly too far away so what I did was I set up a system like you saw where the zombie is moving around I don't know whether he's moving around too fast but without the powered rails um, he eventually stops so I can't have that happen Let's take the railways rail first. Okay, so I'll, I'll come back to you when I dug this up. Okay, so it turned out the iron golem stopped spawning. So when I tried to do a new thing, which, well, it worked because an iron golem spawned, but it didn't spawn on the actual platform. It spawned on uh, my scaffold, and you can still see it over there. So what that means is I'll actually now have to get the zombie up again to so build that wall up again etc etc but it's not too bad because I know I have a system that's working it's just unfortunate that um, the iron game spawned when it did so I'll see you when I have it finished alright here we are night time waiting for some zombies to appear uh, I redid the farm a little bit I did the railway um, so basically now you can see there's like a track that goes up and down and it's covered by the blocks so the zombies don't die from the sun and also um, that means I redid the water 
that zombie over there is useless to me because zombies, in order for them not to despawn, need to be holding something they've picked up from the ground. So that zombie's not good. The zombies next to him were because they weren't holding anything in their hand, but they're too far away. I mean, I can't be bothered to wait for them, so we'll just have to make do with what we have. Now nah, let's see. This area is always dangerous. Always creepers around and skeletons. I mean, creepers and skeletons are always difficult to have around. Okay, any more for any more? Ah, chicken. <laughs> Time for you to taste my sword. Hey! <coughs> nope, uh, no, I won't get that. Oh, hi there. Mm. Okay, fine. Oh, nearly. Let's try again. Ah, nearly. Let's try again. Come on, man, help. What? Now that, that must have. <clears throat> nope. What? I've got the grass in front. Oh, there we go, there we go. What a kill, what a kill. It's epic first time as well. I'm the best. Still no zombies though, close by. Okay, come on, come on. Right, I think as I try... Now, the plan was because there's a rail cart that just goes directly over there. Okay, why did that zombie despawn? Okay, we have one, two zombies coming in. Okay, since that one is in the water as well, I'm just going to kill it quickly. Bam. Because, I mean, I don't want to mess around with some, like around with two zombies because then it's difficult because with one zombie you're controlled you know uh, with more than one it becomes more difficult to uh, control them because obviously there's like you get double the damage etc let me just break this grass we get no I don't get that basically I'm just breaking this grass here and the flowers right there we go there we go let me just go around just to be safe let me go in here place a minecart go into here the zombie naturally tries to avoid the minecart, but if you hit it, there we go, in it goes. Uh, and this is basically what I've been doing for however many hours, I don't know. Now hopefully what will happen is, I'll go up there, and the zombie would have fallen through the hole I left at the end of the track. No, by the hole I left at the end of the track, and onto the other track, down below. And then it will be, well, I mean, it's fell down the hole. Then it will be going round round. No, it's not going round. But that's fine. I will just uh, push it. Give it a little push. Now, how can I drop down there? I don't want to drop into the lava. <laughs> okay, you know what I will also do? I will also get rid of this nether rack. Um, this is, like, the block... So uh, what I do is I, um, back in the good old days with the cauldron, I'll have it stop in a particular section or I'll need to block this off. Thank you for reminding me, zombie. We'll do this, uh, block this off. Uh, now, actually no, this, this does need to go because this is um, where the iron golems spawn in. Now, the thing is, I don't think iron golems can spawn on railway tracks because I've never had them spawn on here nor down there. I might be wrong, if I am wrong, then it's be very embarrassing. Okay, right. Good, good, good. Let me just drop down. Where's that? Mm. No. Okay. So now I'll go to sleep, then I'll go back up and give the zombie a little push, and off we go. Um, this episode took so long, and I fell from a hard pace as well. So it is silly. Well, it's necessary. Like, for you to have a good survival series, you need to have some form of, like, automated farm. So I might as well go for, like, one of the hardest ones to make. Or what turned out to be one of the hardest ones to make. Where it actually is, is... Well, knowing me, it's probably not that difficult to make for, like, an average player. Of course, I'm the best. But, yeah. Do not try this at home. Let's get some more netherrack. 56 should be enough. 
Now, like I said, I don't really, like the last time I did this, and I'm going to literally just swipe the zombie right off the rail cart and we'll kill him immediately. I don't want that to happen this time, so I need to be very quick when I do this. So iron golems don't um, spawn in somewhere where the zombie, well they can get the zombie basically. Maybe quick in and out, strong. Okay. Now, as you might have seen there, I placed a torch down there and I'm now building with the gravel. Because what that allows me to do is, you know the rack is quick to break with a pickaxe. And uh, uh, gravel, just go down, get the torch, and, uh, oh, sorry, not get the torch, okay, one second, let me, let me concentrate on this. Shield, it's push. Push, there we go. Oh. Now this is be within the range here, he tried, he tried. Uh, let me quickly get rid of this. So I know this works because an iron golem did spawn in before with him travelling as he is now. The villagers do seem kind of um, alert. Now hopefully this works. If not, I'll be very angry. Okay, where's that? Where's the hey it is hi there. Ooh. Let me break this quickly. Is that acacia? Oh, it is acacia. Now we don't have any iron gooms spawning in. We'll give it time. Anyway, I do know this works. If it doesn't work then I will fix this before the next episode. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you've uh, enjoyed or learnt something, because I know I learnt something. Um, basically don't follow YouTube tutorials apart from my ones because I did it to the left and it didn't work so thank you for watching hope you enjoy it, I hope you watch my other videos as well really sorry for this taking a long time to come out but as you can see this, this wasn't exactly easy to make I didn't have, well, I had, I spent a fair bit of time on it but anyway thank you for watching no iron goons have spawned but they will do hopefully if not I'll fix it off camera and goodbye oh my god I was lagging, but I did tell you, I did tell you one would spawn, and one did. I was really worried that I have to do some stuff that I don't know what to do about, but hey, it is, it's lagging because I'm, I'm trying to edit the video as well at the same time. But look, it's working, I'm the best. I am actually now officially the best Minecrafter ever. Thank you for watching, goodbye.